I view myself as the weakest person on the planet Earth. My goal in life was to, in my mind, believe I'm the hardest man alive. Whatever you think you are, you have to make that dream a reality. But that's where the hard part is, is making that dream a reality. That's where the hard work comes. That's where people know, how do you keep grinding every day? You have to make those insecurities, those fears. Like when I was 300 pounds, I didn't have any drive. I'm gonna go be a Navy SEAL. What kind of stupid shit is that, 300 pounds? There wasn't like a drive to go be a Navy SEAL. I was an insecure, lying kid, afraid. I had to look in my insecurities and in my fear and find drive in that. We're all looking for passion. Passion's all around you. You have a whole, a whole fucking stack of it all around you. It's your insecurities, all that shit. You gotta dive deep in that shit. All it's, it's all in there. All the energy and fuel you need is right in yourself. It's all there. You got a lot of stuff to do to overcome. And you know, that's where I found it. I found it right there in my own insecurities. I found drive in my own insecurities. And that's, that's the most powerful thing in the world. When you can find drive in your own doubt, fear, insecurities, you become very unstoppable. I believe in a higher power. Don't know the name, don't know where it's coming from. But I believe that this power, let's say it's a man up there or a woman, whatever, and they have a chart. And when you're born, they say David Goggins, born February 17th, 1975 at 6 a.m. They write the chart down because they can see everything. They know exactly what you're fucking supposed to be. They know what you're supposed to be. You die, you go to so-called heaven. You arrive at heaven, I'm 300 pounds. I retired as an Ecolab guy, which is okay. It's just a job, whatever. I go up there and God looks at me and he shows me my chart. And my chart on there says you were supposed to be a Navy SEAL. You're supposed to weigh 185 pounds. You're supposed to be one of the smartest people on the planet, this, this, all this. You see this. And now you're in heaven, you made it to heaven, but you're like, God, dog, I was supposed to live that life. I was supposed to live that life. And then you find out that the reason why, because we all think that if we pray on it, if we do this, if we do that, whatever, if we don't work, we just, whatever, it's going to magically happen for us. No, I believe that when... all said and done with my whole job is to outwork the chart whatever the fucking chart says about me the all-knowing power up there I want to get up there and say him look at me and say I know everything I didn't fucking see this <laughs> I didn't fucking see this I want to feel that I want to get to the other end of this fucking world I want to find more all I can and in that fucking sack of shit, you have to dive in that to find more. Because if you're not willing to go in there and face yourself, you're not going to find anything. You're going to live right here on surface, man, right here on surface. So if there is an ending to this world and there is somewhere to go and there's a judgment, you're going to get there and you might see a chart. And that chart may tell you who...
you should have been. And now you get the rest of your life to think about that. Man, I could have lived a much better life if I just would have just suffered a little bit more. If I just would have went in that shit and realized I had so much more. But fear and the 40% and living here versus living here, being afraid, stop me. So that's, I, I'm a big guy in visualizing. I'm a, I'm a big guy in making a world, it may not exist. To me, it does. To me, it does. And I'm, I'm overpowering myself every day. And you got to find tools to do that. That's the tool that I use. So that's what it's all about.